Welcome to Senior Here, where you come for all of your media needs. My name is Ray. It's your boy Nikki Tay Tay. And today we are reviewing Brightburn. Da -da -da -da! Directed by David Yarovesky, starring Elizabeth Banks, David Denman, and Jackson Dunn. Have you ever wondered what it would be like if Superman were evil? <laughs> well, Brightburn answers that question. I mean, that is the premise of the movie. I think this was very exciting. When I first saw the trailers, I was like, oh my god, they're actually doing this? Look at that, it is wild. And then I saw the movie and I said, huh, it was everything I expected. And I said it just like that. <laughs> I mean, it, I mean, if you are a comic book lover, a fan of Superman, or have been involved in any form of superheroes over the past, I don't know, year at least, like, right? Like, this thought has to have come up. Like, you had all that power, what would you do with it? Uh, and, and the movie, while it explores some cool things, it doesn't do much of what we saw in the trailers or much of what you would think if you had limited creativity. <laughs> Let's just be honest. It's, it's simple. It's simple Superman stuff. Yeah, I would crush a body with my super strength. And if I had laser vision, I might shoot lasers through their head. And I wouldn't fly, so I might drop somebody really high up. Yeah, great. Thanks. And, uh, oh, and uh, don't forget, I got super speed, so I might run at you really fast. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I would say that we already had Injustice, right, uh, for the ones that do no comics. So we already kind of got what an evil Superman was like, and that one was a lot. Better. Or even, like, what, the Earth Earth 52 or yeah, whatever, like the alternate universe. There's like, plenty, yes. Like, we got, we got it there, Bizarro, yeah. all, all, like, all to, all to Metal be. Super, Cyborg Superman. Yeah, we kind of we got like, it. Like, we got, we know, we know what he can do. In this movie, it was more of an awkward evil Superman, right? Because the kid was very awkward. He never had that real like Clark Kent charisma, right? You know what would have been great? He was real awkward and like nobody liked it. If this class. movie was made, like M. Night Shyamalan did this, early 2000s with Haley Joel Osment, this movie would be amazing. I'm telling you, if he did this right after Sixth Sense, and see, I'm gonna make a superhero movie, uh, but he gonna be evil, and he's really Superman. Everybody would've been blown away, and it was a twist at the end. I was like, oh my God, he's supposed to be Superman, and Haley Joel Osment when he was cute, because now he looked retarded. It would've been amazing. But now, like you said, we get this, you know, we get this regular kid. Not even regular. And it's like, Very it's awkward. like yeah, he's got, you know, Asperger's. And this is him. before, and this is before he even got his powers. He was kind of an awkward kid that, that people were talking about, and I, I didn't like his descent to evil. I think it was, uh, it was a little bit. I didn't understand. Quick. It was too rushed. Way too. Quick. And that and that is my biggest problem with the movie, right? It's like I don't understand why he's evil. Like he's evil because he's an alien. Like I would have took it better if his dad was a drunk and he beat him. And then when yes. he turned yep. thirteen, he was like, "I'm tired of this." Yes. Boom! And it's like, yeah, wow. Yeah. That like like that. I have been abused and beaten all my life yeah. and I'm just going to take it out on this world. Yeah. I would be like, yeah, this movie's amazing. amazing. It, it this movie is amazing. It would make it more sense. And I see what they try to do. They, they try to stand toe with the uh, Superman continuity where like, you know, both his parents were yeah. amazing. They, they, they loved and him. And he just somehow turned evil. And he's just evil because makes no sense. Because whatever. It makes no sense. Like, I can't tell you. You, you won't be able to tell me. If they were going to make him evil, then they should have did it in a way that made sense. Right? Oh, absolutely. And I can honestly say, I think every, I think all three of them did amazing in the acting department. I think the acting they, was great. I think the kid did a great job. It was. And I think, the, I think they both nailed it as a parent. They nailed it. It really seemed like two parents that really was happy that they finally got something they couldn't have. Well, maybe. I think the dad uh, did much better, David. Did, really? Did, man, he, he, cause I, cause right away, cause, cause it was more, it was more realistic, right? His response to certain things got there fast. It was like, yeah, this is weird. It's not making any sense. Until the end, look, look how he, look how he's acting until the end. No, I like it even. His last end of response was, it was too abrupt. No, I, I like it, 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 That's where, that's where you go. I like it. You I, go there. I, why not? I like it. He, he 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 could see what was happening and unfolding while the mom Elizabeth Banks and I love Elizabeth Banks. She was just clueless, and I don't want to and I don't want to oh. give her the cop out of it's a mother's love. She couldn't imagine her baby doing that. Like like yeah, what? you got you got no. You got, you got, but you got to think about it. No, I think it was 12, 12, 12 year birthday when he started going crazy. He snapped, so eleven years this kid has been acting. Snapped. He broke the girl's hand. Not small spoiler, but and it's like it's like what like it's like come on these are obvious signs 
get with it. Your husband is telling. She just totally discredited her husband like he's a liar. It's like it's like it's like let let me understand some of these dynamics to allow me to understand. Allow. I'm not saying it was bad. Like she didn't grossly just go like, oh, she's so unbelievable. Yeah, like, what is yeah, yeah. But it was enough for me to go like, come on. Like you, you got to be quick. I think it was enough as a parent. I think it was a parent's. Uh, I, 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 and and it's another another thing that I got to hold against this movie. It's it's a cop out. It's a small cop out. Where this movie lacked for me, it lacked the scares. Right, uh, it had the sinister moments. It had, uh, I would say, uh, jump scares that wasn't needed. I think they really should not have that many jump scares yeah. at all. I don't think it, it really needed. They should have went to more of the dark, sinister. What is he thinking route? Right. Yeah, like make my skin crawl. Yeah, and they, like all oh, his power. What is he gonna do? Yeah, with yeah, it? yeah. Oh my all god, I'm so nervous. Yeah. What is he gonna do? And we didn't get any of that. We didn't mm -hmm. get any of that at all. And for this to be a scary movie, the trailer was a lot more scary than this movie was. With that being said, I will have to give this movie a six point three. Uh, I think that this movie is okay. It's, it's watchable, but uh, it's something that you can take your time on to see. If you want to see a movie like this, or you can wait till it come. DVD, Netflix, wherever it goes next, that will be the best time to watch it. First and foremost, Brightburn, the concept is very creative. I think this is something that everybody has thought of. Uh, so actually making this movie was a smart idea, right? It's like, let's bring these ideas to life. The execution is, is, is not good. I think the acting is great. The cinematography is good. The scene shot is all beautiful. But the writing, it's just the writing. It's like, it's like... All these, all these movies that sit in this like, oh, you do everything so well. And it's always that big chunk that always hurts. And it's like, oh, the acting was great. The story was good. But the graphics sucked. Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh, the graphics were amazing. The action scenes were incredible. But the actors were flat. Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh, it's like you almost had it. This could have been a stellar movie. This, is a, this, this should be an eight. I should be telling you Brightburn is an eight. Minimum. But I have to tell you, it was a six point five. Like, and like, look at that! Look at that difference! Look how much the writing hurt yeah. that movie. That's a big. It's difference. crazy because this writing was just so lackluster. They had this great concept, and they did nothing. They did <laughs> nothing. You just, you can literally watch what, the, the two minute, three minute trailer, and that's the movie. Yeah. Which is terrible. Which is why I stay away from trailers. But that's how they hooked you. That's how they get the get the hooks right into yeah, me and and, into and, and drive you to the theater. Pull you towards them. And, and then they give you this. What I will say is that the ending hinted at something that could be an expanding universe. We'll just go ahead and say expanding universe. And I think that is amazing. I think that concept would Maybe. be would be pretty cool. Especially with DC just being all over the place right now. Let's just call it what it is. It's like, why don't you just go in some a complete different direction? Do something crazy. Why not? You'll make a decent amount of money. I'm not saying you'll make a ton of money. You won't make in-game money, but you'll make money. So That completes the review for Brightburn. Uh, I'm not super disappointed, but I am disappointed. It's like... It's like when uh, you know you studied all day for a test, and he's like, I definitely got an A, and you got like a C plus. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, okay, I pass, but I'm not happy about I'm it. I'm not happy about it. <laughs> and, that's, and that's where this is. You pass, like you made a movie that is watchable, but I'm, mm -hmm. I'm not happy with it. Uh, tell us how you feel about the movie. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell to stay up to date with all of our viewing content. And as always, don't forget, you've seen it here. Oh, mm -hmm.